Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, so I will be doing like a Leonardo Hamato 2012 at Close Center. Here we are, comfort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm eating a, I'm eating a container of gummy bears. Well, having a monster. I'm totally not mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, hope you guys enjoy this. I might lose my sanity while making this. I won't have to my monster. Totally not losing my sanity. Huh. <laughs> Everywhere. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this one. So, let me be. Before we get into the audio, let me do my background information. Yay. Not the best gummy bears in the world. The only ones I can find. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So, you and Leo have been dating for a month? Like, after... Because he started, like... Yeah. You got, um, like, a month. Like, um... They met you the same time they met April. Because you and April are related. Related. But you're you're not a bitch like her. You're nice. <laughs> you're nice. But yeah, you're, yeah, you're their yeah, you're April's cousin. Yeah, but like you didn't get angry like when April spoiler warning, obviously. Like when April got angry, um when her dad was got turned into and you didn't get angry. You understood. You couldn't be stopped. Yeah. You didn't turn your backs on them. You stuck with them. Anyway. Yeah, so like... You and Leo have been dating for like a month. And he... You've been ignoring his texts all day. Because you've been so much physical pain that it hurt to move. Um, April's dad was out, and, cause, yeah, April's dad was out, and, um, April was with her dad, so you were alone, so Leo came over, since he got worried, enough for the audio, and look at me there, got a bad flavor, <laughs> that one's good, that one's good. Just wrong with me. Anyways, like he climbed through the window, like the fire escape window. Is that what it's called? I don't fucking remember. Yeah. Anyways, an audio. Or I lose my goddamn marbles. No. Yeah, so like, like I said, Leo, like, climbed through the window, looking for you. He, like, knocked on your door. I feel like he, be because of, because of Space Heroes, or whatever it's called. No, Guardians of the Galaxy. This is, um, fucking, credit to fan, to, what did, what did they call it there? Fandom Writer. They do amazing stuff. I highly recommend them. Um, yeah, Phantom. Phantom Spanish writer for the nickname. Um. Oh, what was the nickname again? I literally watched it like two minutes ago. What was the nickname again? Um. I don't remember what their nickname, but. Credit to Phantom's listener. Listener. For the nickname. Sailor. And you would call him Captain because of. I think it was Space Heroes? I don't remember. Yeah. He would call you Sailor and you would call him Captain. I feel like that's absolutely literally adorable. Oh my god. Anyways. Um. Yeah. So he was like, Sailor? Sailor? April said they'd be here. They might be in their room. He like, 
He knows your door is always unlocked, so he like twisted it. It was locked him. <laughs> like a aggressive door opening sounds. You were asleep and you're a heavy sleeper, so you heard nothing. Him. Let's go the other way. But there's a window in your room, so he just went around. He's like fucking spooky now. Fuck hell. And he went through the window. Surprisingly enough, it wasn't locked. He's like no, never mind. He saw you pass down on your bed. Like a, with a, like a bottle of pills by your you. Him. Yeah, okay. Something wrong. He looked at your sleeping face. He saw the stain of blood. Oh. <laughs> okay, shut up. Uh, hmm. He's like debating on waking you up. Feeling the wrath of you. Or just letting you wake up on your own. Him. Yeah. I'm gonna li I'm gonna let them wake up on their own. Yeah, that's probably better. So he went to the kitchen and to make you some ramen, and then you woke up on your woke up, kind of on your own, kind of of he, he you heard him in the kitchen doing stuff. Him. Yeah. You. What the actual fuck? You saw him. You. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like, you walked up to him, just staring at him like a child. And, wow, you bloody fuck sailor. Don't scare me like that. You, mm. <sighs> Whatever. What are you doing? You, oh, I'm just making me, making you some, um, ramen? Yeah. <sighs> Okay, thank you. I mean, like, kissed his cheek and then went to, uh, on the couch to lay down. She was just blushing red. Yeah. So, yeah, like, he brought you the... the ramen. How are you feeling? You. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling like I'm getting stabbed. Like, your katana over... your katana over and over again. Like, slashed. Like, it's... Do it, like going through my body all over and over again. Yeah. Uh, it must be painful then. Ew. No shit. Kind of like losing your patience. Ew. Nah, him. Wanna cuddle? Ew. Ew. Thanks. I feel like that would help a lot. After I finished my ramen, though. Him, obviously. You finished your ramen, and then you guys cuddled for a bit. I'm gonna stop there. That was fucking adorable. I love that. Oh my god, I love him. I might make my monkey one later. Tonight. Yeah. Or I may make a prize wrap thingy. I've been thinking of doing for a bit. Yeah, but you might not get a lot of videos from me since I am in overwhelming pain at the moment because I'm on mine. Yeah, <laughs> mine came late. Mine came really kind of seriously late. I choked on a coming bear. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> mm. Okay, not to sell. Gummy bears and, mon and monsters do not mix. <laughs> Should have been obvious. Anyways, bye-bye, and we'll see you guys in my next one.